Hey guys, it's me, Rubber Studios, and I'm back again with another LEGO Star Wars video for you guys. And today I have something super, super awesome. We have the new 2019 ATOT with dropship. No, this is not a rumor, but just stay tuned for the rest of the video and see why I'm actually making this. Is this possible? I really, really hope so. I really love this 2009 set. And as you can see in the picture that I'm using here, um, I'm imagining like box art and stuff in this video, and I'm just imagining it as something kind of like the Taj Mahal where it comes out of the vault. But anyways guys, let's jump right into this video and give you some more exact release dates and what I think about the set. So as you know, all know, the Clone Wars has been saved, and it's been 10 years since they released the show. Now, it, in 2019, it'll be exactly 10 years since they released the ATO2 dropship, which is why... One of the reasons why I kind of believe that it could come back. Um, also, because, of course, the Clone Wars is coming back, and I'm hoping we'll get to see it in action in some of the awesome new Clone Wars movies. Um, but, yeah, guys, I'm really just hoping uh, for this. I have no idea, but my... So, my ideas here are, like, the box art would have the new Clone Wars Ahsoka clone trooper um, head on it. And, basically... Um, in black and red, and just like how they did with the 2009, except with a different clone trooper, it would have six, um, or sorry, eight clone troopers total, two, uh, phase two, uh, pilots, and six phase two, uh, just regular clone troopers, so basically just the 2009 bodies on a different helmet, and yeah, that's, and then just the same set, so the dropship, and then ATOT, or I was also thinking like a heavy cannon or ATT is also possible. However, I believe for another video, the ATT and gunship could be coming out at the end of 2018, possibly the start of 2019. And when this comes out, obviously I'm like nowhere near certain. I'm not even certain that they're even thinking about this. But if it were to come out, my thoughts would be like the end of next summer. So we still have about a year until we could possibly see this set again. Yeah, guys, this theory is pretty crazy, and I know it might seem um, like I have no idea, and it's not possible, but it just, it just fit together for me, guys. Like, um, 2009, 2019, um, 10 years, I mean, like, the Clone Wars is coming back, fans totally wanting this set. It's like, this one and the Super Star Destroyer are like the two Star Wars sets that every fan wants to see again. Um... And yeah, guys, I mean, it's just one of those sets I wish I owned, and now knowing that it's possible, I'm super, super excited. Obviously, the Clone Wars has been saved, so I'm actually going to do another video on that, because I have a feeling they're going to release, like, two Clone Wars waves, and then maybe this UCS ATO2 dropship, and that, if they just did that, and then added, like, little, little bits of Clone Wars sets on for the rest of the years that they're releasing the TV show and, like, the new episodes, that would be fine with me. Just two humongous waves and this ATOG dropship. It would just be so awesome and so amazing. And, yeah, guys, I, I'm super excited. I really, really hope this is going to happen. Um, I feel like it's very possible because I think I've mentioned this a few times. Clone Wars is saved. Ten years of ATO2 dropship. It was ten years for the... Um, Millennium Falcon, UCS Millennium Falcon, so 10 years for the dropship, and then maybe even 10 years for the Super Star Destroyer, so 2021, um, very, very possible, everything is very, very possible here, um, and yeah, guys, I, I, I think I'm gonna say it again, I really hope this set comes out, it would be awesome, um, like, like, ATOT with dropship, ATOT with, probably not ATT, but ATOT with, like, Heavy Cannon ATO2 with ATAP. I don't really care. Um, I would like to get an ATOC, but uh, like dropship with anything would be awesome. So, anyways, guys, I really hope they just kind of bring this set out of the box, keep the ATOT and drop with the dropship, uh, change up the minifigures, of course, do redo the box art and make it UCS. And yeah, guys, that's pretty much what I'd love for this set to be. So, I think the UCS seal should be on it as well. Okay, guys, thanks so much for watching. Really hope you enjoyed this video. Really exciting news. Really hope the ATO2 with Dropship comes back. But anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. This has been Redbrick Studios.